hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. We are talking today about face flanger, and you will learn everything about that. And also, we're going to learn some creative tips and tricks on how to use it. Also, before we go into it, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will see more videos when they come out. But hey, now let's get into the tutorial. Face your flanger, face your flanger, face your flanger. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Which glasses should I wear today? Let's go for this one. So let's put this into vocals. So personally, I think it sounds amazing in chords, vocals, drums and bass. So we're going to try it out in all of them today. So first things first, we need to open it up so we see everything that there is. So we open it up from here on the triangle. So we have this first area that have our options. We have a facer, flanger and Doppler. Doppler, 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 Doppler. I'm not actually 100% sure how to say that. Du like It's like duplicating stuff, right? So dupler. Then we also have this area for LFOs. We have LFO1, LFO2, and we have also envelope follower, safe base area. We have also global area. So output warmth and dry wet. Whew. So we have a bit of a thing going on here. So first, let's just talk through face of flanger and dupler. So phaser and flanger actually work quite the same way. So we have a one signal is split in two, other side is processed, and then we are putting them back together, basically. <laughs> phase is, again, I show this always when I explain phase. So we have a couple of signals going together and they are in phase. The signals, because signal, this is a sine wave. So the signals go like this. If they're out of phase, they go like this. In phase out of phase. Okay, so phaser, long story short, what it does is that when the one track is divided into two, the other one is being altered with all pass filter, which means that when track is put back together, the two channels, the other one has saved its amplitude, which means that the phase of the track has changed. Yeah, you get me. I, 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 I wanna go with you. Okay, and now let's see. So we put a phaser on and let's see how it sounds just with uh, that raid and dry wet and I'm I, I, I wanna go with you. And these are the notches that it's creating. So we have four notches or we can put more. 15. I, I, I wanna go with you. Yeah. Then we have the center frequency of that, I, 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 we can lift it, put it lower or higher. I, so you can see that this is like a frequency range. So we can go lower or we can go higher in the frequency I, range. I, so we have the spread, how far the notch is from each other. I, I, I wanna go with you. So some of them are very low, some of them very high if we put 100% or we can put zero. I, I, I wanna... Okay, automatically it's 50%. Then we have a blend. So it's the blend between the center frequency and the spread. I, I, I wanna go with you. So can you see they're like pumping like that? I, I, I wanna... The flanger is adding a time modulated and delayed signal time modulated and delayed signal with some feedback. So with this, we can, uh, it's the delay time of the flanger delay lines. So we have the filter. I, I, can you hear that? I, 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 I want to go with you. I, 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 I want to go with you. Okay, then we have a dupler. So it basically creates the effects of like a doubled tracks, a bit like you would have two tracks on the top of each other. I, I, I wanna go. 
So you can use this instead of actually doing it manually because we also have the LFOs and the envelope and everything. I, I, so we can have the delay time here. I, I wanna go with you. Oh, very I good. Wanna go with you. Like that. Okay, so these controls also here, so we are controlling the rate amount feedback of whatever action it is that we want to do. Example, we can have the rate of it. I, I, so we can have it in time signature or hertz frequencies. I, I, I wanna go with like that or time signature. I, I, I wanna go with you. And the amount of it and the feedback of it. I, I, I. Okay, so the amount is the amount of delay modulation that is applied to the incoming signal. And this will also affect both of the LFOs that we will go through soon. And the feedback is the amount of each channel's output that is fed back to its input. So remember this. So we have the one signal is split in two, other one is processed, and then we are kind of combining them together again. So that's what we are dealing here. Also, we have this, which uh, inverts the polarity of the signal. <laughs> Uh, as an example, what, how we could use any of these so that the vocals sound a bit bigger. So duplar, doubler is good for that. We could, you know, as we showed with the vocals, I, I, uh, <laughs> add. I, I, I. So I would personally, I love using it in a short time just to add depth into vocals, example. Or on the chords, we can add here. Uh, I love phaser on a chords example to add movement into it. And we get this a little bit of tape type of sound, a little bit more uh, warmed into it and character. Especially with more notches. Love that. How warm is that? So that is awesome. Or with the drums, you can add some flanger example. Much slower rate. have the LFO here so we can select the sign type and you could we already hear it a little bit here in the feedback we have basically duty cycle which is how we're kind of customized it's like how the cycle kind of works so we can put it in percentage up and down so you can see we can kind of customize the wave shape a little bit with duty cycle and we have also face so face again Swimming together, the signal, or are we swimming separately? Left, right, left, right. You can hear what it's done for the stereo spectrum. We also have a spin mode, so we can actually add this amazing, like almost 3D type of spin to it. I love that, but I'm just gonna put it in a face. Also, we have an envelope follower, uses the amplitude from the incoming signal and translates it into a modulation source. So what we can do with this is, so we can now use the attack and release to custom, how is the modulation working? Is it kind of going like, is the pitch shift, is it kind of, is it movement? What's the uh, attack of the movement and what's the release of the movement? Remember to use the, the global output to put it down a little bit if it's getting too loud. So we can have the attack example very s slower and release faster. So it takes time to go into it and then release is really fast. Otherwise we can have it other way around, attack and release longer. 
So it goes goes faster and then it kind of pulls it back slower. Or other way around, attack and then release. So that really work on the movement and how is it affecting your sound. We also have a LFO2 mix and we can have LFO2 going on here. We can put that to 100% if we want to. And then we can have the uh, LFO2 frequency. We can have it with Hertz. Look at those jumping. Cute. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Or we can have it as a time signature. We also have this really cool control called safe space. N not safe sp space. Even though this is totally a safe space as well, but safe base. <laughs> it does that. It reduces the effects of uh, facing. So, because facing can have some issues, especially in lower frequencies. You know, example of dance music, you want the bass to be really much in mono and we don't want any facing issues. But let's work on that on drums. And we put this under maybe 184. That will be make sure that the kick area is going to be good and it's not going to have any issues. We can have it even higher if we want more of the drums to be covered. The LFO2 might be he nice here in the drums as well. Let's put the face. That's kind of fun. Ooh. A couple more things. We obviously work with the output already, so it's just making sure that gain staging while we're doing this. Then we have warmth that adds distortion as well as some filters into it to add kind of warmer sound. In these drums, you can hear it really well. So if we put 100%, it adds that really cool color to it. Oh, we were doing this build up, build up, build up, a little bit like a lo fi chords. So you could let's add them here. You can hear the distortion there really well. So, no, maybe not that much. Oh, it's almost like a resonator there. working together with the LFO2 rate. Also, we of course have a dry wet control as well, where we can control how much the original dry signal we hear and how much of the effect we hear. So like a nice mix for this would be maybe around 71. How how does our vocal sound? I, I, I wanna go with you. A little bit of a voice. I, I, I wanna go with you. I see the feedback is the most crucial, I think, because it's really controlling all the signal. How much feedback are we having from everything that is happening? I, I, I wanna go with you. You know, we created this only by using face flanger. So fa, 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 face flanger. So hopefully this helped you to get some inspiration. 
Hey, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell icon and come again. Hey, also check out my Patreon family. If you want to be part of this family, join us because we have so much fun because we have uh, weekly live streams, monthly masterclasses. I give feedback in certain th tiers. Uh, we have challenges, uh, listening parties, so much fun and a private discord as well so that you can make some like-minded friends. So please come again, come again, because you want to be here with us and have a very, very lovely rest of the day. Bye. Come again. Bye. Bye. Bye.